Hi right guys, welcome back to Dan's Fishing Diary. Today we're fishing down at Hive Canal, fishing for carp, but you never know, might get some bream turn up. I'll run you through the rigs in a minute and show you what we've been doing and hopefully we'll get a fish. Get back to you soon. Right guys, so just, just set up, just got a, a place rigged up just uh, on the opposite side of the canal there. Just about a foot away from the edge of the reeds, just seeing some fish topping and jumping. Just going to spawn out some mixed pellet. I'm going to be using some of that in a PVA bag and the rig I'll show you in a minute with that one. I'll just get on with that. I'm not going to stick too much bait out because I've pre-baited this spot and a few others as well. Just in case someone was in me swim when I got here. I haven't actually caught a carp from this canal yet. Not that I've fished for a much, so it's not something I do very often, this carp fishing, but I'm going to give it a go this evening. Absolutely beautiful down here in the countryside. We're at the West Hive side of Royal Military Canal. See the old helicopter going over there. Yeah, it's all clipped up. I'm not going to put too many out. Look, I have pre-baited this area before. Nice and easy. Wait for that spot to turn to you out. Back. Go again. Oh, it didn't open. Okay, what's happened there? Try again. Just do that one more time. Fling it out. Hit clip. That's it, let's open that time. Just going to do four or five of them guys, and then I'll show you the rig I'm going to put in the PVA bag with the boots pellet. Well guys, so I've just uh, flung out about four or five spawns of pellet mix there. Just going to run you through the rig what I'm going to be using and what I'm going to be setting up. And hopefully we might catch a carp. Right, for the rig, all I've got here is a short hook link this is entrap soft 20 pound coated braid i'd say about three inches there just to a quick link clip and a pair lead only 1.5 ounce because that's going in a pva bag and i've not got far to cast there's not much to keep it anchored down to that's running anyway so if the fish takes that it comes off if it snaps that'll be away and on the end there i've got a size 10 called a captor curve shank barbless size 10 that one is quite a small hook so i'm just using that of about an eight mil piece of cork and that's just going to sit on the bottom just like this just quickly balance just like that so the hook point don't tangle or the cork don't come around the rig and we have a little small pva stick bag on there some really fine fine method mix that all I've done is just sieved it out, sieved it out, riddled it out and added a ton of hemp oil to it and that is absolutely amazing in the stick mix and it's really fine so you can just push it on the hook and not worry about them hook points getting um, obstructed in any way nice and sharp Let's set it up yeah, down on the Hive Canal there's been a few more fish jumping and splashing about so Hopefully it's just about the right time. It's a short session this evening, about four or five hours, but it's nice to be out. What I'm going to do is fill up this, uh, I think this is a 22mm ESP PVA mesh. It works just right for what I want it for. And then that is going to sit inside the solid PVA bag with all the pellets and the hook hook link and the weight I'm not making this like a um, like a long stick two or three inches literally about an inch long not even that just to mask that hook point make sure nothing interferes with it just turn it off once not worrying about it being too tight because I do want it to dissolve quite quick and this stuff is extremely oily. It's about as oily as it can get. Let's 
tight ones. It's four hours. And just let that off in there. And just squash all that back down there. There you go, it's not too tight. It's going to dissolve really quickly, really oily. And it's just going to sit on that hook point to make sure it don't get interfered with any of the pellets. I'll try that right. So all we do, I ain't going to worry about weaving it on too much. And say so it's a nice smooth mix in there so the hook point's not going to get nicked in any way. Make sure the bait's in behind the hook shank. Oh yeah, there she is, yeah. Now all that is going in the PVA bag. And that is the phone. Right, after the rude interruption from the phone, we'll get back on with it. Right, we've got the rig set up in a little PVA mesh bag with some stick mix. It's not too tight, I want it to melt really quick. Sometimes I found with this, PV, with this stick mix, if I push it in there too tight, it'll float, isn't it? So I like this ESP uh, PVR. I've not really used anything else, to be honest. Uh, I haven't done much carp fishing, like I say. I like to give it a go. Gives us a little break from the dogfish. If anyone watches the channel, they'll know what sort of... Uh, love-hate relationship I have with the blank saving dogfish when we're sea fishing I'm not actually worried about the bream so if we catch a bream I'll probably be quite happy it's all I've got in there is just a ton of mixed pellets all different shapes, sizes, flavours, brands and I'm just chucking a load of that in there I'm not being too neat about uh, tightening it up for the cast because I've not got far to cast so it's not got to be too streamlined. Right, there we go, I'm just going to chuck a little bit in there like that. Bang that, and try and get it over to one corner. Make sure that cork is acting as the critically balanced hook bait. It's just on the opposite side of the bag there, nicely, nicely, nothing's tangled. I've got a sinker in there. Just fill it up with some more pellet, nice and random. I was getting it everywhere. Not too many other big ones. I've got some of them big, uh, I'm not too sure what size these are. I think they're about 18 mil. They're Robin Reds, but I have got another rig to set up in a minute on another rod for some 20 mil Robin Red boilies. I'll just set this up, chuck her out. There we go, right, I'm not fully filling that up because I have put some bait out. It's just a little delivery pack, a bit like a feeder, I suppose. Very nice and easy. <coughs> I'll just slip that down each side. Some people roll them up, some people st stick them into little balls, or I'll just tie it up. So I'm not casting very far, I'm only on the canal, so. <coughs> tie it up. Always take the rubbish home with your guys, don't just throw it at the side of the canal or the lake or the pond or whatever, there's plenty of wildlife out. And one thing I hate when I go out fishing is getting a swim and you find loads of rubbish because it's really annoying. Alright, there you go, like I said, I'm not wrapping it up too tight to cast, so let's bang her out, get her on the alarm, and then we'll set up the next rod, the next rig. Absolutely beautiful evening tonight really settled, there's barely a ripple on the water it's already clipped up where I've put the bait out straight on the clip nicely nicely I'm feeling I'm going to have to re-clip that before my next cast get that line sunk down looks like line sinking there all nice and easy, nothing too rushed 
Start to take it easy while we're fishing. Oh, let's get rid of that bit of crap on there. Without swimming. There we go. Let's settle that onto the rest. It's on a bait runner, so I've actually got that set really loose. Because I want to be on this fish within seconds if it bites. I'll bob in there. Which is on. There we go. Hopefully, guys, there's some fish. So I'm just going to put the other rod together, sort some more bits out, and then uh, we'll run through the other rig and what I'm using with the 20 mil Robin Red Boilies from Dynamite Lakes. These ones. Let's see if we can get something on there. I'll get back to you in a bit, guys. There you go, guys. Like I was saying earlier, there's plenty of wildlife about little ducklings there going past. It's always nice to see, isn't it? No matter how airy and ugly we are, we all like to see a duckling. As long as the bloody swans ain't around eating my boilies. That's why we always take our rubbish home, guys. With no action yet, just about to set up the second rod. I'll set that up and then run through the second rig and show you what we're using. In a bit. Well guys, just set up the second rod. I'm going to be using on that. Got some 20mm Robin Red Boiling. Just got that in a standard hair rig, like a five turn hair rig. That's on a size 4 Crank B quarter, barbless. That's to about five, six inches of the end trap soft. All I've done on there is just got a loop on the end to put a stick mix on. Just going to rig that up, chuck her out. And see how she goes. Still ain't had no action on the other rod. Might change the hook bait on that. But I've got some wafter baits, so... Might give that a shot afterwards. Right, there's that one. Just clip that up onto the lead, onto the hybrid lead clip. Yeah, hybrid lead clip leader, dark matter from quarter. Clip that on the end, nice and easy. That is. It's the thing when you're used to sea fishing and you go and do some carp fishing, everything's like micro surgery. Chuck that out and see what we get. Chuck some boilies over the top. I've seen some big crashes right in the mm, yeah, just over there on the reeds line. I'll try and cast over there. So there we go. Haven't got much weight on. I actually use this rod yet on the canal. It's a bit long, I think. This is one of them 12 foot crazy things. Oh, lovely. That is absolutely perfect. Let's get her in the rest. Set me around. I'm trying to wrestle the path here as well, guys, because. I've got to be careful of people walking past. So you might have to move that in a minute. have got a little bit of space there, haven't we? Right, just sink that line. Oh, really. Bait one is loose. Rods and reels wise, guys, I'm not using nothing too extreme or serious, I don't do much carp fishing, it's not my only 
fishing hobby, so I'll just use what I can get. Well, these are a T60 carp runner from Angling Pursuits. I think it was about 25 quid from the local tackle shop. Does me alright so far, so let's get a bobbin on that and I think I'm going to have a cup of coffee and wait for a bite. And guys, I won't get them no much luck on the PVA bag with the cork, so change the hook bait over to a I think it's a 8mm dumbbell, togging up flavour, nice oh, and fluoro, bit of colour. Should still sit critically balanced, just checked it in the edge. Got a blue Peter style PVA mesh stick bag that I just made up. Again, same as before, just going to bang that on there. PVA bag with some pellet. Chuck it back on the spot and see how we go. I had no action or, or anything at the minute guys, so I'm just going to chuck out a few of the old boilies, scatter a few about in the area. I've not actually got the boilie rig on a baited spot, so I'm just hoping a cruising cart will come along and find it. What I'm going to do with these, just give me a little tiny squish like that, just to open it up. I'm not going to break it up though, let it leak out. I'm fishing in the middle here because I come along on the kayak with the fish finder and it looks quite clear and flat in the middle there's a bad snag over in the reeds over there so like a tree stump or something like that you couldn't move it so it's got a PVA bag wood straight over and the boiler wood just round the corner a little bit so sun's just going down a bit down a bit now Been here about an hour and a half, no bites, no fish. As you can see guys, unhooking mat is absolutely dry. About two hours into the session. Sun's just starting to go down beyond the hill. I'm about halfway through the evening session now and just added line on the left hand rod, that's the one with the PVA bag. So I'm going to do in a minute, give that just a few minutes, see if anything materialises on that. If not, I'll bring that in, re-rig it up, put a little bit more bait over the top probably, a few more spawns of the pellet. And hopefully we'll get a fish before the sun goes down. I'm not actually a member of the Hive Canal and it's members only at night here I think so. So it's always best to stick to the rules. So hope we get a fish before sundown. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. I was saying about the wildlife earlier guys, I don't know if you can hear that, the frogs are absolutely going mad. I think I would have done better if I brought a gigging fork with me and some frog hunting. Come on the fish. <laughs> it's frog. Well guys, so after the liner, just chucked out about four or five spawns more of pellet. It's rigged up again. Another little parcel there, PVA bag. Maybe it could be the last cast of the night now because obviously no fishing after dark. It is a short session. quite relaxing doing the old carp fishing at the canal. I think I'll come back and do another video possibly whether we catch a fish or not before we get set to be getting ready to go out in the kayak after the bass. I'm just going to get this out. Get it in the rest and good luck for the last cast. Well guys, so that was the uh, last cast with the PVA bag, just setting up the uh, boilie rig. Again, last cast on that one. I'm going, just going to stick on a stringer of boilies now, just put a few boilies on a bit of PVA tape. 
on the baiting needle, pulled it through. Just going to rig that on a bit more boilies around the uh, hook bait. Get an hour and hopefully I'll catch a fish. The sun's really starting to disappear now, so. <coughs> If I don't get a fish guys, I'll uh, hopefully see you on the next video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the videos, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And keep an eye out on the channel for some more upcoming videos from Dan's Fishing Diary. Well guys, as you can see, absolutely dark. All packed up with a dry net, a dry unlooking mat. Unfortunately, can't catch them all. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Hopefully, see you again soon. Maybe with a fish. <laughs>